Hey guys, it's me, Panto6, and today I finally got a chance to play the Overwatch open beta on Xbox One. And all I have to say is wow. Um, I know um, a lot of people are saying the same thing, but let me give you a little bit of background. I am not much on multiplayer shooters. I haven't been for a long time. Now, probably about, I don't know, maybe six years ago, if you asked me the same question, I would have said I'm really into multiplayer shooters. Because the games I was playing was things like Unreal Tournament 2004, I believe, um, the GOTY edition, um, Quake Wars, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, uh, Halo, Call of Duty, you name it. And it wasn't until the Orange Box came out on the Xbox 360 that I played a team-based uh, multiplayer shooter um, like Team Fortress 2. Now I know what you're saying, yeah, you were playing it on the Xbox 360, but back then that's all I had. I wasn't really a PC player um, for the most part, and um, all I had access to was the Xbox 360 version, which me and my friends, we played a lot of it. It was really fun. And a few years later, I finally got a PC, and I started playing Team Fortress 2 on, you know, PC. And this was before, I already had it paid, paid before it became free to play. Um, now, Overwatch is very similar to those games. Um, I, I, they said it has a little bit of MOBA built into it, but I'm not seeing it. And there's been a lot of comparisons between this and Battleborn. And what I can already tell you now, I tried Battleborn, I didn't like it. It's just another MOBA that didn't do anything spectacular. Now, Overwatch, man, it's it's really fun. And I was swapping through the characters every time I die, I try somebody different. And, you know, I can't tell you their names because, you know, I only played, you know, maybe two hours of the game. And all the characters, they play so different from each other. They don't feel like the same um, same type of uh, player. I mean, well, character. They, they all have different abilities and attributes. And they all play differently. And that's really cool. And for the most part, everything is really balanced. Um, going up against these uh, the tanks or, you know, the heavies, um, I didn't feel like they were too overpowered. Now, um, there are some points in the game, like <laughs> like any other game, when you have a sniper that just blows you apart like halfway through the battlefield. Um, that's still there, but for the most part, this game is extremely balanced. This is really, really polished, and that's to be expected from Blizzard. Now, I know they had their time with uh, Diablo 3 and um, Hearthstone, I believe. They've had problems here and there, but not much. Blizzard, whenever they come out with a game, they usually come out swinging really, really hard, and that's what I'm thinking about Battleborn. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> see? See? Those two are stuck. Uh, Overwatch. But, yeah, it's definitely, definitely fun. Um, probably my favorite character so far is the ninja that throws the ninja stars. I think his name's Genji, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. And there's the angel, uh, who is basically the medic uh, that has a buff you can attach to another character if it gives them a higher damage rate. And there's a couple other ones. i got to get the names down, but I really like the ape. The ape was awesome. Um, it's really cool to hear the banter um, when, when they're talking. Uh, it seems like the world is really, really fleshed out. And I would like to know more about these characters because they're all really interesting. And I can't wait to finally find the characters that I'm going to use primarily. And I hope that's soon because I, I know it's at the end of May when this comes out, but I'm going to be playing the shit out of this game for a long time. I guarantee it. And I, this game was not even on my radar. Um, that's the funny thing. It wasn't on my radar until like a month ago when I saw it being played. And I didn't really care for it. I thought it was a MOBA because I didn't look too much into it. And that's... And that's because everything that comes out anymore of its passage the multiplayer as a MOBA. And that kind of drawn me away from it. But after doing a little bit more research and finally getting to play it, you know, I can go ahead and say this game is going to be a clear winner in my opinion. Um, the graphics are great. The art style is great. 
I, I know there was a little bit of controversy uh, with one of the characters having a very nice butt, and people got mad about it. And I think they, I guess, they changed it, which that's a shame. That's a shame. I think the art style for it was fine. It, I didn't find it offensive, but then again, here I am. I'm a, I'm a white male. Uh, so I better not say that in front of the feminazis because they will come after me hardcore. Um, now, as far as the, the controls go, I haven't got to play this on PC yet, and I plan on doing so. Um, the Xbox One controller, uh, it feels great. Uh, using the Elite controller, it just it pops. Um, I did not notice any type of frame rate problems. Um, and going from match to match is really, really fast. Um, you, it doesn't feel like you're, you know, looking for players to play. It just seems like it's just so fast. Um, and I, I think that's because Blizzard knows their stuff when it comes to online multiplayer. They've been doing it for years. Um, and I see this game uh, kicking off real big in esports, and uh, I've, it's going to be really, really popular. Um, I hope so. I don't want it to fail because this is something completely different that. I'm used to seeing Blizzard do. Now, um, <coughs> I think this is their first um, new IP in a long time, and I know they had uh, Hearthstone, but that's a, you know, it's still attached to Warcraft, and they have Heroes of Storm, which is attached to pretty much all the other uh, Blizzard properties. But this one's completely different, and I think um, this will make a really, really big. Uh, Ah, man, I can't even come up with the words. Um, this will be a big thing. I know it's going to be a big thing because it's great. And I can sit here all day and suck this game's dick and wait for something to come out. And I'm sorry I had to make that comparison, but it's just really good. It's really good. So I'm waiting tomorrow for this, that last thing I said to become a GIF and, yeah, or a <laughs> ringtone. But yeah, it's it's really really good. Um, if you if you get a chance to play it, check it out. Um, now I do have a code. Uh, my friend uh, Seth he sent it to me. Um, he had he went ahead and pre-ordered it, and he sent me a code. And I have an extra code. So if you guys want a code here, and I only got one, and it's for the Xbox One, uh, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments section. And um, just tell me what's your favorite multiplayer shooter, uh, and I'll pick at random, and I'll give you guys a code. Now, um, another thing, since I'm on here, as always, uh, I talk about this thing called bits and pieces. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make a brand new video to give uh, more details because um, one of my one of my followers um, let me know that there should be more details within the. Uh, video when I explain it and I'm going to go ahead and do that but if you haven't heard of it go to www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces uh, what it is is going to be a game shop that does things like card games board games and video game tournaments as well as other events such as pay-per-view um, you know all kinds of stuff as well as special guests now we're trying to come up with the funding for it and it's going to be pretty rough but I'm going to go ahead and make the new video. It should be up by the end of the week, if not beginning of next week. Um, so if you guys want to check it out, you do not have to donate. But if you do, I definitely appreciate it. And if you wouldn't care, just share it to all your friends. Um, I went around town and I plastered um, <laughs> flyers around the uh, few areas in my where I live. And um, we, we're up to $130, I believe, $110, $130 in donations. Uh, but if we get it up there, I think it's going to be really great for the gaming community in general, as well as we're going to be able to help people that suffer from anxiety disorders like I do. Um, but again, guys, thank you so much for checking us out. I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay, so that way you can see, there's, you'll see me swapping through different characters. So I didn't get to do them all, but here's about 40 minutes of it. But guys, thank you so much for checking us out. Be sure to hit a like and subscribe, and I love you. Game on! I will not.
not to waste this chance. Securing the objective. Ten seconds. your defenses. Incoming in 30 seconds. Oh, oh, oh. Now this is my kind of factory. <laughs> Quit screwing around and get ready to move. Protect the innocent. Enemy turret ahead! Enemy turret eliminated! <gasps> Enemy turret eliminated!
My team needs me. I will protect the innocent. Get back! You good! Roger! <laughs> On you wall wearing all that! You good! Heya! You good! This is no place for children. <laughs> Who are you calling a child? See you later. Attack commences in 30 seconds. Let's shoot for a new high score! Can't keep up? Then stay out of our way! Uh, on the 
the game. Nerf this! Before. <laughs> this place is the worst. Let's turn it into one big scrappy. <laughs> Attack commences in thirty seconds. Let's try that again. Somewhere. Oh, cheers. Hello. Five, four, it's good three, two, one. Attack commence. Capture objective A. <laughs> Let's go blow something up. Go.
Imagination is the essence of discovery. Objective, rally to my position. Behind you. Over you. Damage increased. I found their teleporter. Tactical visor activated. I can do this with my eyes closed. Let the dog unconsume you. I found their teleporter. Team kill. Bad guys. Tactical Bad visor stuff. activated. Let's get you back out there. Die, die, die. Hold him back. See Damage and blow. Take cover. We are unstoppable. Where does it hurt? Cover. Damage boost engaged.
Objective stopped! 